And now in your Iowa news, GOP candidates are less than a couple months out from the Iowa caucuses and just over two weeks out from the next GOP presidential debate. And the pool of candidates ready to take the stage is shrinking. Donald Trump qualified but refuses to participate. Right now, that leaves Nikki Haley, Vivek Ramaswamy and Ron DeSantis on the docket for December 6th. State House reporter Skylar Tulal goes one on one with DeSantis for a look at the Florida governor's strategy in Iowa. Ron DeSantis's commitment to doing a full Grassley is almost complete. His campaign stops hitting 98 Iowa counties with just Jasper County left on the list to visit as Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds ramps up her presence at DeSantis's side, helping the Florida governor open up his new campaign office in Urbandale. Well, that's the thing. She, um, you know, endorsed us and she said, I don't want to just put out a press release and sit on the sidelines. She's like, I want to be active. I want to help. But a new Iowa State poll finds 63 percent of likely caucus goers say Reynolds endorsement has no impact on who they'll caucus for, with just 13 percent saying they're now more likely to support DeSantis. But the 2024 presidential hopeful says more than 30,000 Iowans have already committed to caucus for him, attributing the rising numbers to Reynolds endorsement. When she's out there telling people this is the most effective leader I know, he can turn the country around. If you like what we've done in Iowa, he'll be able to do the same stuff for the United States. That really resonates with Iowa caucus goers. So I think it's been a huge help. With the caucuses around the corner, DeSantis and Nikki Haley are battling it out for second place. Now that Haley is pouring more resources into Iowa, DeSantis says he's already been focused on the first in the nation state as the clear conservative nominee. As we get closer, voters start to really look and they say, okay, does the rhetoric match the record? And with me, everything I said I would do, I delivered on. Everything I'm running on, they can trust me to deliver in Washington. DeSantis says it's time for a new generational leader, taking a jab at GOP frontrunner Donald Trump's age, along with a likely choice for Democrats, Joe Biden, who turned 81 on Monday. Is there any sort of policy or anything like that that you think there should be a cutoff at a, uh, an age that you should be able to run for president? Well, look, the founding fathers didn't put that in there. I think that that's largely the termination of the voters, but clearly... Republican voters look at Biden and almost 100 percent of us think that, that he's too old to run again. I think what we need is a new generation of leadership. I think we need somebody that can come in on day one, uh, work for the American people and fight for them on their issues. In Des Moines, Skylar Law reporting.